Today on Tricro Studios, we replaced the reverb unit in my Marshall JCM 900 4100, the dual reverb, with a revisit reverb tank. <laughs> So ever since I purchased my uh, Marshall JCM 900, um, the reverb tank has not worked. So I purchased it probably about four years ago, and um, it's not an original. I think it's it was around I think it's like a uh, 93 or a 94 or something like that or a 94 or 95. So it's not like a a reissue or anything. Um, but ever since I purchased it, the reverb has not worked whatsoever. So we'll take a listen here really quickly. So right now I'm on channel B and the reverb is sitting at about two o'clock. Nothing. Let's uh, put it full blast. Nothing. Now on to channel A we have the reverb sitting at about three o'clock. You should hear at least something. So basically what I've always read or have been told um, it's either one of two things with the JCM 900s. It's either A, the RCA cables, um, whether they've gone bad or whatever. Uh, so you would unplug them from the uh, reverb unit and take the chassis out because I believe it's underneath the chassis and uh, replace the RCA cables, which is fairly cheap, or um, the issues of the reverb tank itself and I always figured you know what it's, it's me so it's gonna be the reverb tank and the reverb tanks probably expensive so this was actually about $40 um, so we'll find out if it's the RCA cables or the reverb tank so one of the very convenient things about this is with the reverb tank it's literally just two connections so I can unplug the uh, reverb tank that's connected to the 900 and plug this in and not screw anything into place. And we'll see if it works. All right, so here is the rear of my Marshall JCM 900. Um, up here is actually where the reverb tank is. So you can kind of see there's the RCA uh, cables here. So you would just unplug it, plug it this one. And then all you have to do is take that tank out and put the new one in. So looking right here, you would just take the cables, plug it in, plug it in, and I can actually throw it on top of the amp here, and uh, I don't have to do anything, I don't have to even screw it in to test if it's working. So again, the reverb is just, it's just springs, just puts the sound through the springs, and that's how you hear the kind of echo reverberation sound. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, over here, you can actually, you might be able to see that the reverb tank is plugged in, but it's just sitting on top of the amp, so. So you can actually hear that the reverb is working, so I don't have to take the chassis out, that's perfect. Um, so it's not the cables, it's just the reverb tank itself. So that's uh, channel B, I put it back to about two o'clock, so it's Put it full blast here. It's great, I'm finally hearing reverb with the JCM 900. And this is channel A, so the clean channel um, and the I didn't move the reverb, so it's still sitting about three o'clock. That's 
so nice. That makes a huge difference. So one very important thing here uh, before I install it, I do have to say if you are looking um, at like a JCM 900 that, or like you have one in it, the reverb tank is not working, um, you know, you've tried the RCA cables, before you actually install it or go ahead and purchase one, um, you want to make sure that you're getting the right one because when I was looking at it, there was like four different versions of the reverb tank. Um, I don't know if maybe some of them are um, mounted on the bottom or some of them are all mounted on the top or on the side. So uh, I had to measure the reverb tank. So it's a nine inch reverb tank on this particular one. I don't know about any other ones. Um, so if, like the more updated one, uh, the reissue might have a different reverb tank. Um, so it's top mounted, it's nine inches and uh, it's top mounted. So that means the springs are facing, or the opening is up um, as opposed to it being any other way. Um, so if it's like bottom mounted or side mounted or whatever, um, you want to make sure that it's going to be the right one. Otherwise it might not fit the internals of your um, JCM 900. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just install this and then live life with uh, JCM 900 that has a reverb tank. Mm -hmm. 